The man in the gray suit with that unmistakable laugh. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman started in the improv troupe The Groundlings, where Paul Rubens invented a comedian so bad you had to laugh. Ah, Mr. Stingray! Ah, ah, ah. Soon Herman was the star of his own film. Come on, let's get some breakfast. Come on. He's a clown. He dresses with uh, his clothes don't fit. Uh, he has makeup on. He's it's very stylized, but it's very grounded in childhood. You're a nerd. I know you are, but what am I? You're Not even the meanest bikers could stand against the man in the bow tie. He wins them over, like he is a he. Lo they love him by the end of it. The success led to a kid show millions tuned in to visit Pee Wee's wonderfully weird playhouse. It has all of this Americana. It has all of these colorful and eccentric characters. This critic says there was a subversive quality to the show, best exemplified by the Christmas special. All of the people on the show, all of the guest stars, or most of them anyway, are gay icons like Katie Lang, Grace Jones, Little Richard. All of this happening on a children's show that was seen by millions of people with their parents. It is a celebration of the outsider and a very subversive one at that. This guy's right on my butt. Yeah. <laughs> a talk show favorite, Ruben stayed relentlessly committed to playing Pee Wee. I went many, 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 many years uh, without ever being photographed out of character um, until one day. A day in 1991 when Rubens was arrested and charged with indecent exposure in an adult movie theater. Toys R Us pulled the Pee Wee Herman dolls from their stores, you know, and yeah, he was a national figure of ridicule and mockery. The scandal put Pee Wee on pause, derailing his career, but eventually he returned to TV and film. Today, fans were surprised to learn he kept a six-year battle with cancer private. After he died, his team shared this message. Please accept my apology for not going public. I've loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. Paul Rubens was 70. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.